to... Wolfman can hit ya. so far. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. 
That's like, it. like real work days. I think I'm about done with negative three, Paul. I think I am. It might be one or two stragglers down at the bottom of the list, but I think I got them. Man, I've had so much practice killing those zombies on those stairs. Because it's actually not that easy to do. No, it doesn't look like It's it. not easy. And I've got so much practice at it, it's become second nature now. Yeah, when I first started doing any any percent, that was a struggle. Yeah. It's an expensive item, fifty. Yeah. yeah, man, these items are not cheap. A lot of hearts. That's why you gotta do all that grinding. A lot of killing. This is all baby work throughout here. Yeah. This this last jump here is hard. That's jump here. That right there. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah, it looks like it. And I do miss that occasionally. You get hit sometimes. Yep. Yeah. But if I'm on ginseng or green tea, nope, <laughs> always make it. <laughs> ginseng and green tea. Yeah, man. That's speed for Paul right there. Just you know, you don't do real drugs. And cardio too. Yeah. I really like ginseng too, Paul. It gives me a buzz and I can really focus really well. Really yeah, well. yeah, I have yeah. noticed that too with myself. Like combined with uh, green tea and cardio, oh my gosh, man. Those are the days I do floor drops very well. I read something recently that you'd probably be interested in. It's supposed to be really healthy for guys our age to start taking it. Ginseng? Yeah. When you're like when you're younger, in your, in your 30s. Oh yeah? Yeah, I read something about it. Like a lot of guys thought you... The article was saying a lot of people believed that, you know, that was something for 40 and 50 year old men to start taking. They're saying now the earlier the better, man, like in your early 30s. Yeah, they're saying the earlier the better, it helps with memory and all of it, everything. Interesting. Yeah. See, I always thought that was an old person by now. That's what the article was about. I think it was in men's health. It was talking about how not just for old men, you know, that younger guys should start taking it. Oh. Also with stamina, too. I like, think I have the answer to floor drops. What's that? It's becoming one with the floor drop. <laughs> I'm serious. Like no, 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 no. you have to feel the rhythm. Yeah. You gotta feel the rhythm when you jump back up to it. It's the exact same rhythm. I feel it. It's 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 it is a really tight connection. With you in the floor drop, Paul, you gotta be with it. Yeah, man. It is a tight rhythm, and it's the exact same. Every time I get it, I feel that rhythm. It's the same thing I do, and I'm starting to narrow down in on it. See your floor drop. Visualize it, right, Paul? You gotta be the floor drop. <laughs> you gotta become the floor drop. <laughs> even more, that's even past, you know, visualizing it. You just become the floor drop. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's no visualization. It's just, no. you are the floor drop. Yeah, the visualization's not enough. You gotta become it. <laughs> that's funny, Paul. Be the floor drop. You gotta feel it, huh? You really gotta feel it. Be in the zone. That, that jump there I just did right there uh -huh. is one of the hardest jumps in the game. To pop out that far, you mean? Like they just jump out, right? Just to jump out. And, yeah. And, instead of falling right straight down. Oh yeah, that's right. Usually, I saw you the yeah, one time. You sometimes you'll see I just fall straight down. Yeah. Because that jump is the hardest jump in the game. I had to do I had to I had to do it twice. I had I had to do it again here in like a minute. Oh right. When you 
you leave the same place. Yeah. Yep. When I leave, I do that jump again, and you leave the teleport I do not look forward to that jump because it is not easy. No. You're like in the wall too, right before you do it. Boom. Become the floor drop <laughs> right here. Like Caddyshack. No, 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 no. <laughs> Geronimo! It's cool how you land right on the merchant. Save time. I actually take that the safe way. You, you can do the other one, but you have to land and hit spikes, though. Oh. Which will... Ooh, got it. Which will nice. decrease your odds of uh, completing the uh, Death's Mansion. Yeah. So, but it is like eight seconds faster, though. Yeah. It's a lot of time once you start getting down to like, you know, the level of this one. I think like you know. once, if I ever get like a sub, like 3650, yeah. or a 3640, and if I really want to crunch out some numbers, like then I would start doing that other floor drop. Yeah. Like potentially be a really low 36. Yeah, and there's also a few other things that are risky to do in this game that also saves time that I don't do. Like throwing a dagger at, at a knight in uh, Camille's mansion, that wastes like eight seconds. But it but will increase the chance of me actually uh, continuing and not getting killed. Yeah, there's so many little things here. I know. <sighs> Screwed up. This is brand new right here. See, I grabbed both their hearts now. I just started doing that yesterday. I'm thinking in my head right now of like a cool name for, like, for you guys, like a cool title, like Precision Video Gamer, you know what I mean? Or something like that. Like Speedrunner. I know Speedrunner, but like I was trying to think of an alternate alternative title for you guys. S special. Yeah. <laughs> just special? <laughs> special. Speedrunners are special. Yeah. Special people. They're keep it simple. They're special. Yeah, he's special. <laughs> special breed of people. Mm -hmm. It just takes a lot, of, like I said before, it takes a lot of dedication that most people don't have for a game. Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say about it, yeah. And probably a certain you know amount of love for gaming that most people probably don't have. I think you gotta have some kind of a obsession of wanting to to like, if you like to want to casually play through a game over and over and over again, then you are a good candidate for speedrunning that particular game. Yeah. Yeah, because that's how I started with this game. I played, I played this, I beat this game once every night casually right. for like a year, and then it came, I came to the realization that like, well, if I'm gonna play it once every night, I might as well just be speedrunning it. And that's what I did. Yeah, there's also, yeah, there's, there's that. Because your casual play kind of turns into a speed run, actually, just by itself. Just trying to get better. Because, well, yeah, I mean, yeah. once you've done it over and over again, you naturally start getting better at it through casual play, too. I gotcha. So you, like, inadvertently start speed running, whether you like it or yep, not. Yep, that's how it, yeah. same thing with yeah. World, World of Warcraft, yeah. I see. Yeah, it's just, just to be better, yeah. Hearts look amazing. I don't think I've ever had that many hearts right here at this time. It, the thing about me with all this, your topic work lately, it's just to feel productive and get something done during the day. You know what I mean, Paul? There was a good like three weeks there where I was just doing nothing. Yeah, well, yeah, I imagine. I mean, I, I noticed that when I worked on the site, I felt productive too. Yeah. 
Well, and you know, like, I, I told you why I wasn't doing anything for almost three weeks. I told you I didn't, I was depressed about my license, you know, I didn't feel good. I just, I didn't want to do anything. But then, like, you know, it got to a point, Paul, where I was, like, in such a rut. I'm like, well, I have to do something. <laughs> Can't just sit around. Ooh, I knew that was going to happen. Damn it. Are you supposed to thread the needle like that between the two blocks? Uh, so he's supposed to glide through it. Okay. I screwed up. Ooh, I bet you guys like that. That's the first time I ever did that during a sp d during a speed run. I just saw it on the corner of my eye. That was pretty good. I've never did that during a speed run. I'm like, screw it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah. To make up for that mistake I just did, <laughs> and I did pull it off because that is hard to do too. Jumping all the way over there to that one ledge. I did practice the crap out of that yeah. before, but never wanted to do it during a run because the chance of actually doing it is slim and you fall in the lava. Yeah. Took a chance right there. I'm maxed out on hearts. I'm actually maxed out on hearts. I've never had this many hearts here before. I don't even need to be collect collecting these guys' hearts. Two hundred fifty six hearts. Um, I've never, never, ever been maxed out on hearts during an any percent run ever. And this is the first time ever that this has happened. I hate it when he does that. jump over these guys because I don't need their hearts. I didn't need to kill him. Get back there. Get. Get. Holy shit. Flying now. There's a chance I may do a one death run. Actually, slight probability. 
As long as I don't get hit anywhere else. I'm on track to do a one death run. Holy shit. This is it guys, a one death run. I did not mean to throw that dagger. Okay, these guys better not kill me. Oh my gosh! I'm on track for a one death run! I've never done one yet. I've never done a one death any percent run. And now... I am on track for that. Hell yeah. It's on now. Whew. Okay, calm down. What the hell? Ugh. Don't need a grind. I can just keep on going. Man, there's a few execution mistakes I made that really sucks ass. Not very happy about it. Ah, oh, man, I got hit. I didn't want to get hit. <sighs> Getting hit really is going to affect me jumping through the marsh then. I have to jump through, through the marsh a little bit longer. I've never done a one death any percent run guys this very well could be the first time I do one as long as I don't screw up which very well could happen It's going to be uh, 
close on this split here. What time is going to say? Okay, I'm going to be disoriented from this. Yes, hearts. Thirty two hearts, that's not a whole lot of hearts. No! Damn, I had to grind. That was sloppy, because I was out of practice.
try to do something new that I've never done before yet. Run and I failed it. Hey Matt, can you mute the music? I think this is going to be it, man. I don't want to have to deal with copyright issues with music in the background. This is the run. Damn it, this skeleton could kill me. Well, I just dropped down instead. Come on, hearts. Oh my gosh, no hearts whatsoever. Oh my gosh, it's actually nighttime here. I only got one death so far. I've never been this far with only one death. Okay, I need three more daggers and that's it. I'm good.
That's the same fucking place I screwed up last time, too. With my other run I highlighted. Same fucking area. Oh, go get out of town right before the end. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking A, man. Fucking pissed. The fuck? Well, that's nice. <laughs> Man, I was so close to doing a one death run. This will be a sub 37 now. Pretty sure. was my goal I, I actually did accomplish it I guess actually sub 37 with two deaths man I was gonna have one I've never did a one death any percent run and I fucked up right there at the end oh man it's a world record hey yeah woohoo Just killed my record right now. Thirty-six fifty-two. Wow. I've never got a thirty-six something before. I don't understand. It's like once I get to that one section, I stop thinking. That part right? Yeah, like, like that's what happened the other time you showed me. Exactly the exact same th yeah. damn thing too. Cause this could have been a one death run here with uh, like a sub 3650.